lake side of the dam. You know, big cliffs here. Hydroelectric stuff here. Alright. Is there center forward? do it justice it's I don't know how tall it is it's got to be like over 500 feet tall it's a nice lookout area over here I guess it's pretty good fishing over here on the side of the dam too for uh Salmon as the trout for the visitor center. Is, this, is that what this building is? The visitor center? Oh, there it is. See, I'm not even sure if we are in the right spot. Bridge. And there it is the dam. tour area and we got this big cliff here uh, this is looks like what all the garbage collects behind the dam there's a dam here and you can see there's like power lines coming out of all over the place up the mountains all over the place there's power lines but it looks like this is the road here. If you want to drive across the dam, it's closed. All of the big generators are in working order and they're fixing them and it's now a hard hat area. So we can't bring you in on regular free tours. And then they're also, you may have heard we had a fire in 1981 in the tunnels. It was an electrical fire because all those wires that you can see kind of on I don't know what they call those, but there's, there's wires that you can see right back there. Oh, there's miles and miles of those lining the dam. And they're in the tunnels that have basically no escape routes whatsoever. And they're oil clean. Okay. Now I'll have to in a second I'll have to show my badge to the 
and security guys because as I said before, security is the most important thing here at the dam. But oh, past that okay. wash, once we show them, they'll move that little vehicle out of the way and then we'll get to go through the huge, one of those gates, the huge gates right there. We've been told that they can actually withstand a fully loaded semi going 55 miles directly wow. at them and they won't move a butt. Move a budge? Yeah. <laughs> they won't move a bit <laughs> or budge. As we go up onto the dam, um, I'll tell you a little bit more about Lake Roosevelt. As I said before, it spans 151 miles to the Canadian border. It has over 600 miles of shoreline and it is absolutely great for recreation. There's about 29 varieties of fish in there and lots of places you can go to, to fish or just go boating. If you're, if you're wondering, there are some horizontal buoys. Uh, they're kind of parallel from the dam. Those are actually just to protect people from getting a free ride over the dam. You know, it's government. We don't want to give out any free rides. I stole that joke from James, by the way. Um, we're driving over one, under one of those cranes, cranes that I mentioned before. And I'll tell you now about the third type of crane we have here that we like to talk about. It's actually the world's largest gantry crane. It has the capacity to hold 2,000 2, tons. Anybody know how many pounds that would be? Can anybody do the math quick? How much going on up here?
thought was interesting when the lady said uh, on the tour the lure dam is uh, kind of bowl shaped. Yeah. Uh huh. To hold back the water. And this is just gravity, the gravity dams. They built it so humongous that it can be flat. And it holds back like what, 50 times more water, 100 times more water than the dam. I don't know. She said one of those outlets where the water comes out of the thing, turbines, equals the whole amount of water that comes through. So you got these wires yeah. that are way over there, it's way, way down low. on the other side of the water. Where do they go to? Um, I'm not sure. I was thinking it was right at the top there. And then you follow them down, the wires come down. It's like they're hanging there. And then they go up, they go back up a little bit. They go, yeah. and they go up, 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 so up. those up. are the main wires up. that come off the generators. The it's like, why did they do that? Do they really need to hang it over the water like that? Maybe the water pools. I don't know. I'll be up to there. And then they go far away. There's some stuff over here. Yeah. 